If you're ever gonna get peer pressured in your entire life, it's into wearing sunscreen. And the new Vanna White. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, cute and high maintenance go together. Hi, this is Katie. Today's video is going to be about summer essentials, AKA some of my favorite summer products, AKA cool things that maybe you guys would like too, if you guys like kind of the same stuff that I like. So it's going to be makeup, skincare, body care, um, a couple bathing suits, just some of my favorite summer things. How many times do I have to say that? Okay, so if you're excited about this video, please give it a thumbs up. I never ask you guys to do that but please give it a thumbs up. If you're excited to see this video, go right now. Just go right now, go do that. Please also hit subscribe while you're there. Just while you're clicking around, go hit subscribe if you want, if you're not already subscribed. Okay, we're gonna start talking about things. All right, so let's kind of go like in order of what you would put on your body. Oh, by the way, these nails, if you guys watched a video from like a week ago, um, or not even a week ago, a few days ago, I put these nails on and uh, they're very, very cute. Still like how they look, but they're a pain in the butt because they pop off all the time. I've had to re-glue like seven of them in the last like three days. So are they worth it? Maybe if you're like having like a day or two that you really want fun nails and or if you are just patient enough to re-glue them back every 20 minutes. But they're cute though. Sometimes, you know, cute and high maintenance go together. All right, but anyway, I just have this pile next to me. Hold on. I have this pile of stuff, sneak peek, that I wanna show you guys. Maybe let's do like shower stuff first. Maybe, right? Because that's what you would generally do first before like you put your makeup and your bathing suit on, you generally shower. So some of these are gonna seem real random, but we all use stuff like this. And I'm just trying to tell you, uh, you know, what I have recently found that I really, really like. So, shaving cream. And the new Vanna White. This is the natural shaving cream by Shave Smart Pacific Shaving Company. I don't really, I think it's the Pacific Shaving Company and I think it's just their natural shaving cream. This, um, and I use like a man's razor. Which one do I use? The Gillette 5 one, I think it's orange. Um, it's like the smoothest shave I've ever gotten, ever. And so I wanted to to tell you guys about this. I got it on Amazon. Um, if any of these products are on Amazon, this is still wet from the shower. <laughs> if any of these products are on Amazon, they will be in my Amazon recommended list down below. I have a link always in my description. Um, and then the rest of the stuff, I'll see if I can find some links to them. But anyway, this is probably my favorite shaving cream that I've ever used in my life. And I didn't even think that I would ever have a favorite shaving cream because that just sounds ridiculous. But I'm always one of those people who like, I would always be stubbly. And I was like, what the heck? I don't want to shave my legs every five minutes. That's ridiculous. But with this, it's very, like, very smooth. Still right now, very smooth. And so, like this. Speaking of hair, I am Italian and I have hair on my face. Um, and also, just everyone has hair on their face, um, even if it's super, like, peach fuzzy, thin, clear hair. Everyone has hair on their face. I just bought this the other day and I used it like twice and I'm like, yeah, why haven't I had this the whole time? This is that flawless beauty. I think they have like infomercials. I've seen it like a million times, but I saw it at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something and it was like 15 bucks and I'm like, you know what? Let me just get it. It has like a, this, I don't even exactly know what it does. I think it's just tiny little razors or something because it doesn't hurt. I don't know if it's an epilator, is that the word? I don't know if it pulls them out. I think it just shaves them, I don't know. But you turn it on, there's a little light, and then you just do this on your face, and it makes my face smoother. But if there's like thicker hairs, pull those out. Don't just like shave the thicker hairs on your face. If uh, it just, if you have like a couple, um, pull those out, but especially for peach fuzz and stuff, um, you can use like a little straight razor, but this, I mean, it's really nice. Okay, getting into a little more fun body stuff, not talking about hair removal anymore. I got this Radiance Spin Care from the company Duval. They sent it to me, not sponsored. This is not sponsored, but they did send it to me. I love the idea of this because it can help like, is this what you're expecting in today's video? Um, but it can help with like dry skin. I mean, you should do this, you know, in the shower or something, but. And they actually gave me a coupon code for 70% off. And so hold on, let me find it. Where's my phone? 70% off with the code Katie 2020 that it comes with the body scrubber, two face scrubbers and a pumice stone. And I'll have the link and everything in my description. I'm very excited about like a body scrubber. It makes me feel very fancy and like I'm taking care of my skin. So thank you Duval for sending that to me. Again, not sponsored, but thank you for sending that to me. And then after you like smooth out your skin, how many times are you guys gonna see my, my leg in this video? My favorite tattoo. Okay, then you put on your sunscreen. 
You cannot forget that. Basically, this whole video is me trying to pressure you into wearing sunscreen. If you're ever gonna get peer pressured in your entire life, it's into wearing sunscreen. This is by Supergoop. It's foam. It's like whipped cream. Um, and this is the sunscreen mousse SPF 50. Um, but Supergoop has a lot of different SPF. I also have their face sunscreen. This is the unseen sunscreen SPF 40. I like using physical. I love how sunscreen smells. It just reminds me of like summer and like being outside as like a kid and stuff. Um, but I like using physical SPF, which is just a little bit healthier, more natural for your skin. So Supergoop is good. There's a ton of different brands, but just please wear sunscreen. Even if you're only going outside for 20 minutes and please reapply every 90 minutes um, or whatever it says on the packaging, but generally 90 minutes just to keep your body healthy. Please keep your body healthy. And then I like to put on like glow oils or lotions. And I mentioned these in a recent video because I just bought them, but I put this one. These are, let me tell you what they are. These are Elf Retro Paradise Glow Up Body Oils. They are in Golden Hour and Sunkissed. Golden Hour, Sunkissed. I put this on my legs the other day. It is Sparkle Central. Let me show you, but I love it because I am almost 34 years old and I like to have sparkles on my legs. Um, I'll do this on my arm so you can actually see. Um, so this one in particular gives someone with my skin tone a little bit of a tan, like a bronzy tan, but it washes off. This is just a like daily oil. So like look, and it just looks so nice. And I don't know if you can tell, you could obviously layer it up. Like you could get another pump going layer it up and it's this one again in particular will give me a little bit of a tan but it's also just super like glowy oily and it's pretty sparkly as well which i like i'll put the cap just completely flew off i'll put this one on the other arm so you can see the difference um this one for my skin tone is basically just like the glow and the sparkle and so this is the one that's a little bit tanner can't tell how it looks on camera. And then this is the one that's like just glowy. I really, really like these, but now my arms aren't gonna match. Hold on, let me put a pump of the, the bronzier one on this arm so they match for the rest of the video. They just look so pretty and glowy. And like, honestly, what's the summer if you don't wanna look super glowy and glittery, even as a 33 and 11 month and a week old. That's how old I am. Um, anyway, all right, so I have those. So anything else for the body? No. Mostly just put your SPF on and then glitter if you want to. So let's talk about hair real quick. I, there's a ton of hair products. I could talk about hair products all day. Dry shampoo is like my number one love of my life. Um, I like the Perfect Hair Day, Don't Fall, uh, by Living Proof. I like the purple one by uh, Not Your Mother's. Is that the whole name of the brand, Not Your Mother's? Their dry shampoo, the purple one is really, really good. But I'm going to talk today about the SGX NYC Luminous Repair and Shine Spray because my hair, <laughs> my hair will get a little oily up here and so I'll use the uh, dry shampoo, but then the ends of my hair get pretty dry. And so I got this, which is a Luminous Repair and Shine Spray and you just spray this on the ends and it adds a little bit of like conditioned life back to them. And they just look like a little healthier because the ends of my hair get very like straw-like, very, very dry. So something like this adds a little bit of health and conditioning. And then also to get my hair a little uh, extra fluffy, <laughs> I use this Living Proof Full Dry Volume Blast. I can't tell if I love this or if I just really like it. Um, I think it depends on the kind of hairstyle I have. So I think if my hair is curly or wavy, like right now, this works well. If my hair is is uh, straight, I don't like this as much. But so this, this is a very powerful spray. My pillow's next to me. I do not want this on my pillow. Um, this is a powerful spray. Are you ready? Can you see that? But it gives you like a, a volume. And these, I mean, obviously these hair products, obviously all of this is all year round stuff again, but in the summer, it's like, I want glowy skin and fluffy hair, you know? So anyway, I like these two products. Um, and then are we into makeup now? I think we're into makeup. Okay, let me get it all like right here. There's a couple things that I want to talk to you guys about. So when I'm thinking of makeup in the summer for me, I think of four things, SPF, SPF, 
And then I also think of like glowy, hydrated skin. I think of ease and quick application. And I think of longevity. And that's just kind of like the look that I like, like creamy, dewy, glowy, but that will still last all day, especially if you're out running around, out in the sun, out at the pool, um, if it's you know safe where you are, maybe at the beach or something. And so again, start with SPF. I already showed this guy by Supergoop. But what I've been using a lot lately is this Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense Radiant Protective Veil in the color Soft Radiance. This is kind of like a primer and SPF and glowy base mixed in one. And I really like this. This is SPF 30. And so I've been using this a lot lately. I just really like this. I like that it gives me a glowy base and I like that it has SPF in it. And please, when you're putting SPF on your face, especially if it's in makeup form, make sure that you're putting enough on because you might be like, oh, my uh, foundation has SPF in it. So if I just put some of my foundation on, then I get my SPF on my face. A, it's probably still good to put something like this underneath. Um, but B, if you're just using that as your face SPF, make sure that you put on enough because even if it says SPF 30, if you're just putting on a tiny little bit, you're not gonna get that full 30. So make sure that like you lather it on your face. Um, so I really like this a lot. And then I'm really into cream products. I've been into cream products for a little while, but especially right now and for like summer, again, for like that glowy dewy, like a dewy, if you want a dewy look, cream products are the way to go. And it looks a little bit more like natural, like easy to blend in. Um, and I just feel like in the summer, I don't really want like stark makeup as often as I might want it in the colder months or something in my eye, hold on. You know, like you just kind of get in different moods for different types of makeup. And I think that I prefer um, heavier, more contoured, more full coverage, stuff like that in the winter months or the colder months. But then I really like the dewier, creamier look in the summer months. So some of my favorites, I've been loving just like a ton of blush, just straight up, just all the blush, just all blush, just a face filled with blush. Um, I also really like just a lot of bronzer. Um, I kind of, when I do my makeup, really focus on my face makeup and then just kind of do brows and like, uh, mascara and like that's kind of it but so i really like um bondi bay uh by nude sticks as a cream bronzer that's over there and i'm not getting up to get it but for blushes you can also if you want add spf into even your blush this is the physician formula natural defense multicolor stick with spf 20 and this also helps with pollution defense and blue light defense and this is in the color soft pink and this is more like a neutrally kind of pink can you see that? And then um, these two are my favorites because they're like bright pink and I love bright pink on the cheeks. This is Pixie on the Glow Blush in Fleur and this is Milani Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in Pink Flirt. So this little like deodorant looking thing is a, okay, very similar color to the other one, but they're definitely different. It's much more of a brighter pink and that one's much more of like a nude pink, if you can tell. And then this one is, super bright wow i just put way too much no i just wasted so much that one is like a super bright pink but still very blendable these are all so blendable so creamy and dewy and i love them so much i love them so much and if you need to wear powder i still powder even when i'm going for this like dewy look i still put powder on my chin and around my nose and right here on my forehead just like right um not up here but just like right here because that's where i might get a little oily throughout the day i have pretty like normal combo a little leaning dry skin but these spots will get a little oily sometimes and so i have this physician's formula natural defense the same range as this but in the finishing powder and so this also has the spf the pollution defense and the blue light defense and this is just a good powder to have on hand especially especially if you're going out for the day say you're going to the pool all day or you're going to the beach all day or you're having like an outdoor party safely and uh you put your spf on your face and then you put your makeup on and then you're out for the day do you wanna put a cream SPF or a liquid SPF over your makeup 90 minutes later when you're supposed to reapply? Probably not. So having a powder or having a spray, cause they have some setting sprays or face mists or face sprays or whatever that have SPF, this will be much more helpful. So you can just put this on or spray your face with something. They also have different brands have um, like a brush. The handle part of the brush has loose powder in it that has SPF. So that's really good to have with you as well if you're going out because SPF is really important guys. We wanna like make sure that um, we're keeping ourselves safe from the sun. So anyway, 
cool, 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 cool. And then um, this is also Physicians Formula. They have SPF on a lot of their products and it's physical SPF. And so I trust it more than just like chemical SPFs that are in a lot of makeup products. This is the Physicians Formula um, little lipstick, butter lip cream in pinkini it's what i'm wearing right now i just kind of dotted it on because it's a little dark for what i prefer but it's good to have a little spf on your lips there's definitely ways to get that in just a clear lip balm as well but it's good to have a little lipstick that has a little spf as well it's only 15 but it's still something last product not an spf whatsoever but it's very long wearing this is probably the love of my life in terms of makeup um, I want to have a hundred of these glossy boy brow in the color brown. It's my favorite thing in the world I Have it on my eyebrows right now. There are a couple eyebrow products that I like however a lot of them are um, Like more creamy based and so if you do this or you get sweaty, it's gonna come off This is a heavily tinted brow gel So I don't need to put on anything else when I use this it comes in this tiny little cute little spoolie And then you just I'm gonna do it with no mirror. I already missed and got some on my <laughs> eyelid but you just do this and um if you have more sparse areas you can fill that in with a waxier type pencil or if you can find a waterproof or long lasting if you search for those words in terms of your makeup they will probably be longer lasting um but a lot of the eye pencils that i have are really creamy and so if i do this it'll wipe away but when you put on something like this or any again waterproof or long lasting product um, it'll stay much longer even if you're a little sweaty and uh, it'll last quite long. Okay, done with makeup. Couple more things. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your entire life? Let's talk about SPF again. This is the Bare Republic SPF 50 Mineral Sunscreen Stick. This I keep in my purse. And so if I'm out and about and I end up being a little more outside than I thought, a tiny little stick and then you can just rub it on. This is more to me like an emergency one because this was quite expensive for how small this is, but for emergencies or like, oh crap, I forgot my sunscreen. It's good to have a little one in your purse. So have that. Okay, now all we have left is bathing suits. Oh, and shorts. Okay, I got these shorts. Hold on, let me show you. I got these shorts. You can't even see the bottom. They're not that long. I'm just the camera angle. There we go. I got these shorts. Okay, <laughs> are you ready? Are you ready to hear where I got these shorts? Again, I'll remind you that I'm almost 34 years old. I got these from Abercrombie. <laughs> I got them online at Abercrombie. These are like the mom shorts or something like that, like the four inch mom. I'll have them linked below. Um, I got a size four and a size six. These are the size six. They both fit me. I bought them both to potentially return one, but I'm gonna keep both because I like how the fours look. Um, a little bit better because uh, they just fit a little bit better, but the sixes are a little bit more comfortable. But anyway, I really, really like them. They fit me really well because I, uh, I feel like it's so hard to find shorts that I like because they either are, uh, you know, this long, this long, this long, or they're like this long. And I'm like, I just want a normal middle ground of shorts that like cover my body, but that aren't too, too long. And these are just like the perfect length. Okay, now let's get into bathing suits quick. So I have a hard time finding bathing suits uh, with my body type. I just have a hard time. I've always had a hard time finding bathing suits. I wanted another couple suits that were just inexpensive, um, but I just wanted to have a couple because we do have a pool here. And so I placed a huge order on Misguided. If you guys watch one of my videos from like two months ago, I did a Misguided haul and nothing fit. This time I had much more success but it was still about half the stuff didn't fit. But weirdly, last time, my misguided haul, most of the things were too small. This time, most of the things were too big. And I'm like, I'm finally figuring out my size in misguided. I think for me, for bottoms, I'm a size eight. And for tops, I'm a size six, I think. So I got some bathing suits. I got them in all different sizes and certain ones fit and certain ones didn't. And some that I thought were gonna be too big fit. Some that I thought were gonna be too small didn't fit and like all this stuff. So. Um, I'm just gonna show you a couple of suits that I decided to keep and I will have links I think they're still having a sale a lot of these were like eight dollars or fifteen dollars They were having like 50% off sale plus 20% or something crazy crazy and expensive. So this is a size 8 US 8 um, because misguided is a UK brand. This is a size US 8 um, and this is just a cute like this just goes like on your thigh kind of or like your hip I guess um, this is just a cute little one piece. That's in like a very pale pink. That's like a nude pink 
very low back. Um, I, as you can see, there's no structure on the top, so I would not wear this swimming, but I would maybe wear it just like hanging out outside or like lying out if I'm gonna lie out or something. Um, it's very, very cute. I got this nude set. Um, these bottoms are an eight and this top is an eight as well. This is the one top that the eight fit. I got a bunch of other eights and they were way too big, but this eight fit. So why aren't sizes just like, why aren't they just the same across the board? It really bothers me. But, um, so this is just a like nude colored top like this. And then the bottom, I really like really high waisted in terms of bottoms. So these are super high waisted, like really, really high waisted. And um, again, so, so inexpensive. I also got another like nudish pink. There's a, there's a trend here. <laughs> you guys know that most of the things I wear are black, but I just was in the mood for like a nudish pinkish uh, kind of bathing suit. So I got a couple of these. So this top is so cute. This is a size six. Um, yeah, yeah, this is a size six. And it is just so, I, this is just so cute. It's so cute to me, really, really wide straps. And then it also has these like rhinestones around the band. It's just so cute. And I don't have a matching bottom to this, but I have a bunch of black bottoms. So I'll just wear this with black bottoms. Um, and speaking of, I'm gonna keep a pair from Misguided. These are an eight and these are high-waisted black bottoms. Cute, cute, cute. And then this last one, oh my gosh, is so cute. This is in a 10 um, and it fits. Would an eight have fit a little bit better? Maybe, um, but. Are you guys ready for how cute this is? It has a belt. I feel very like 90s. It has this like gold and like acrylic-y kind of belt. It is very cute. Just a basic black one piece. Um, that's a little bit more coverage even than the other bottoms because I don't like showing off a lot. Like I'm very conservative with my clothes and with my bathing suits and this does cover the most. Um, so if I'm going swimming or something, well, I don't, can you wear this in the pool? I wonder if you can wear this in the pool. I don't know, but, um, but again, I got this in a 10 and eight maybe would have fit better. I'm going to try it on again, but it definitely still does fit and doesn't really look too big. It's actually quite comfortable. Um, it's just so cute with the belt. It's so cute. Those are kind of the summer things that I wanted to talk about. I think that's it. I think that's it. Make sure you're keeping hydrated and wearing your SPF and taking your vitamins and supplements and wear glowy makeup and wear whatever bikini you feel comfortable in. But I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that, like these bathing suits I recently bought, um, but then, you know, some of the stuff I've had for a while. I just wanted to show you some of the stuff that I am enjoying for the summer months, uh, whether I'm lying at the pool or even if I'm just inside. You know, it's still nice to, to feel pretty and to wear stuff that you enjoy wearing. And so I just wanted to show you some of my favorites. Please let me know in the comments some of your summer favorites, uh, whether it's makeup or skincare or um, your favorite SPF. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know your favorites down in the comment section below. Please make sure that you're subscribed and following me on Instagram as well. And that'll do it. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.